I mean, the, the chief one is, is the mood, just that feeling of just constantly having that depression lurking in the background. Yeah, I think that's my main concern of all concerns. And we'll go after that. One of my big questions for you, have you ever had a head injury? Not that I know of, although I did remember in the consultation earlier on, I, when I was very, very young, I think I fell down some stairs, but that's the only one that I know of that I can really recall. I think I was dropped, actually, down some stairs. But I would have laughed. Yeah. Like a babysitter accidentally yeah. dropped you or somebody was mad at you? No, the, accidentally. It was in a store, apparently. And how old? Probably what, like one before I can remember it. And how do you know that? It's like a family story. Oh, I remember we dropped you down the stairs. So that may be the answer. Really? Because your scam, I'll show you in a minute, is a head trauma scam. No. Because you had head trauma at some point in your past. I'm certain. And that can actually give you ADD symptoms, low-grade depression symptoms, issues with impulsivity, trouble reading social cues, which you talked about how socially you're often uncomfortable yeah, unless yeah. you have no people really well. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's fixable. Right. The hope is you come back like five months from now and you go, oh, I feel so much better. Wow. Because when I looked at your scan, depression, head trauma. Head trauma induced ADD, fixable. That's How so would I know interesting. if I didn't look? Yeah. Everybody's treating you is like, yeah. oh, well, you're depressed, try this. What other doctor acts like that? All other medical specialists evaluate the organ they're trying to treat. And as so, psychiatrists, the brain is our organ. Yeah. A long time ago, neurologists and psychiatrists got divorced, and neurologists got the brain, and psychiatrists got the mind. Oh, wow. It was a bad divorce. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Why did you give up the brain? <laughs> wow. Anyways, because if you go, hey, Daniel, single most important thing you've learned from 160,000 brain scans, mild traumatic brain injury ruins people's lives, and nobody knows about it. Because they don't look. Did you tell the prior psychiatrist, say, hey, somebody dropped me down a flight of stairs? No. I and mean, if you just think of it, yeah. brain is soft, about the consistency of soft butter. Think of this as super soft, because right. that's how it is in your skull. And then it's got all these sharp, bony ridges. Oh. And so you're a year old, and you roll down a flight of stairs, and so inside your brain it's doing this, and it actually hurts more the right side that's just blown my mind that that might be the reason yeah. because i suppose even when you're super young not everything is formed yet so right? sometimes it heals right and yours did, here's an example of a really healthy scan so here we're looking underneath the brain okay. just like this here we look down from the top so this is healthy this is healthy right. this is what this is our goal okay and then we're going to look at the active parts of your brain, so blue is average activity, red and white are the most active parts of the brain. Okay. And we want them back here. And if we look at your scan, just compare this one to this one, you have great cerebellar activity. Yours is awesome, but your mood center, way up. And so this is what we call a limbic or emotional part of the brain. That can go with depression. So that's more lit up than it should be. Yes, yeah, so right. not really much going on here. Yours, very busy. Interesting. But that, that's not the money picture. The money picture is this one. Okay. Oh, wow. We see decreases here. Sure. And you don't have holes in your brain. What the holes indicate, low blood flow, low activity. Got it. But this is sort of important. It's your supervisor. It's the part of your brain that watches you. It's involved in focus, and forethought, judgment, impulse control. But there's going to be a pattern here. This one's fine. This one's not. Your right temporal low, mood instability, reading social cues. It got hurt at some point. Right side, right side. And then... See these in the back part of yeah, right. These that's called your occipital lobe. And whenever I see this bilateral decreases, I'm like that's head trauma. This is so interesting. You can really see here and here, just here and here, but also here's damage there and there. And this is what it should be. There we go. Well, that's totally blown my mind that that has caused that. But yeah, it totally makes sense. And the fact that no one's ever asked me that in previous talks about depression, that's it's crazy. But and if you actually look up the science, untreated head injuries are a major cause depression, panic attacks, which are yeah. suicide, right. learning problems, wow. substance abuse. 
close. Wow. And so you had the genetic vulnerability yeah. with your dad. Definitely. But if the injury knocks off your brain's supervisor or hurts the supervisor, it takes you longer to learn, yeah. okay, this is a bad thing. This right. isn't getting me right. the life I want. Sure. So the supervisor, the role is to, to regulate impulse control and stuff like that. Think of it as the brain's brake. What the prefrontal cortex does, so that's the front third of the brain, so right here, yeah. is it stops us from saying things we shouldn't say to doing things we yeah, shouldn't do. Right. And if you think about it with me, your brain controls everything. Yes. How you think, how you feel, how you act, and every decision you make. Never want to hurt the organ that controls your life. To repair, I have some supplements that'll help. So are you opposed to fish oil, even though they take the fish proteins out? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Is there any alternative? And I told this to Laura, and I think she got some vegan omega-3s. Yes, yes. And I helped her find it. Yes. So I think that's a good brand, but you have to take a lot. Yeah, okay. So we can do that. Yeah, great. Have you ever heard of hyperbaric oxygen? No. So you go in a chamber, remind me to show them the chamber. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's kind of creepy. Yeah, it's creepy. And you can either rent one or buy one or go to the clinic. I want you to go like 40, 50 times. Oh, wow. Because you go in the chamber and we put increased oxygen under pressure. So it's like you go 12 feet under the water. Wow. You have that kind of pressure. Yeah. And, I mean, it doesn't hurt. Sometimes your ears get stuffy like you're on a plane. Okay. It's been shown to increase blood flow and really repair your brain. 40 to 50 times. Wow. Yeah. I mean, you can go in and meditate. You can actually take your iPad and watch a movie or whatever you want to do. How long are the sessions? 90 minutes. One other supplement, something called Happy Saffron. 21 randomized controlled trials found to be as effective as Prozac. I think your primary diagnosis is traumatic brain injury. Leading to limbic ADD, it's just ADD plus mood issues, depression, anxiety, history of addiction. Sweating? Do you have a sauna? No. Infrared saunas have been found to be a treatment for depression. Really? If you have room in your house, a sauna is a great idea wow. and has been found to be a treatment for depression as bright light therapy half an hour in the morning in front of a bright light therapy lamp has been found to be as effective as Prozac really I've never heard of that have it about an arm's length from you okay. while you're doing your work right half an hour a day oh wow it's been shown to help your energy your mood your focus and your sleep Given Laura's pregnant, yeah. this will be our shower gift for them. Oh. I'm going to check your levels. I'm going to check your hormones because often with head trauma, hormones can be not optimal. So we have sort of a cool plan. Yeah. And none of those things will ever hurt you. No, no, I, li I, I like it. I, I like that there's clear things that we can do. I have anything that's yeah. encouraging. Yeah. What would be really great for you to do is start a journal. If you do that consistently, we'll know, is it making a difference? That was incredible. That yeah. was really incredible. Yeah. I just didn't realize that so many factors were at play with brain health. Yeah. But it was really amazing. So you feel good overall? Yeah. Yeah. Take me home.